Hey everyone, thank you for joining me for another video. If you are new here, my name is Lacey and this is Living with Lacey. So y'all, I have not been on here in so long showing my face. I thought I would just come on here today and say hello instead of you just always seeing my hand. Um, just thought I'd just come on here. If you're new here, this is the real face of Lacey and I'm so grateful for everyone that stopped by to watch this video. So today's video is basically called Back to the Basics. I have taken apart my CP Petite and I'm going to put it back together again. But I thought while I was taking it apart, doing a refresh, getting ready for October, I thought I'd bring you along with me if you um, are trying to consider if you want to use a planner this size. But also, if you are new to planning and you just ran across my channel, I thought I'd show you how to put together a planner from beginning to the end. Um, this video might be a little long, so if you want to get your snack or a drink, you should do so. Um, because I'm a talker, but I'm also a teacher. And so I want to make sure that I show you and teach you how to put a planner together. There are so many things going on in the planner community. If you're looking at YouTube or Instagram, you can be so overwhelmed because there are disbound planners. There are book bound planners. There are ring planners. There are so many planners here, planners there, planners, planners everywhere. And it can be a little daunting. And so I'm a disbound girl. I also have a couple of ring planners. I also do traveler's notebooks. Oh, let's not forget strings, right? So I do traveler's notebooks as well. I have a bound uh, planner as well. But if you're interested in disbound or if you're just interested in no matter what the planner is, the process of putting it together, I think today's video will be for you. All right, so what I'm going to do is go on back to my overhead and we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, y'all, so we're back to the overhead and let's see where we can start. Hopefully I'm not all over the place because I do have a, you know, a process of how I put everything together and just want to think through it. So I'm going to start with, of course, my planner cover. Now, I want to let you know, you do not have to have a planner cover in order to put a planner together. What you need is disc and then you might need something that's almost like a clear cover. You don't have to have anything expensive, I'll say that, in order to put the planner cover together. So I'm gonna use this icon cover. So like I said, you just need a cover. You don't have to have a leather cover, but you do need some type of cover. And so I'm just gonna start with these discs. These are clear discs. Um, I think I got them on Amazon. I did have some black disc here, but I wanted to kind of change it up a little bit. I would like to say that these are possibly one inch. Is that it? Let me look. Yeah, these are one inch. I believe these are one inch discs. And I think this is all I need for my CP Petite. Yeah, I had used the black for so long. I was like, you know what? Let me use clear. Okay, something else I did with this planner too. I'm gonna go ahead and still add this. I know y'all are gonna say, why are you adding that? Because I use one of these to go inside the planner and then I like one just being out in the back. You'll see it. I'll, I'll share it as I go. What I'm going to do is just take this little extra one right here and I use this to slide in here because I like to have a clear cover in the back. All right, so that's basically like step one is to basically get some type of cover. Um, there are various places you can get a cover. It doesn't have to be leather, but you can get some type of glass cover or something just to protect your paper. So the next thing that I have to decide after um, getting my disc and deciding um, what kind of cover I guess I would uh, have, the next thing I decide is really what is my purpose and what am I using this planner for? And I usually go with dividers and I'll put dividers in first. Now, cloth and paper currently 
don't have dividers for um, the CP Petite, but that's okay, because I'm gonna show you some other things that you can do for that, okay? So I have my planner in a few little sections, and I'll show you how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna just start with what my weeks, my weeks are that I'm gonna use. All right, so we're in the month of September. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep September in here. So this is the inserts. So I'm gonna start with my inserts. So if you do have a planner that's like a half letter or um, a HP mini, I would start with a divider so you understand the sections. This planner, um, the purpose of this planner is to be an on-the-go planning um, or on-the-go planner. And so I use it just to throw in my bag and it's used when needed. It doesn't have to be used every single day, but she does go everywhere with me. Everywhere. So this is the inserts for September. So these are September. I'm putting everything over to the side so I can see what else I want. Okay, I also had this cover. This was a notes cover from CMP and I used it in the back for my notes. I'm always scared that I'm gonna break this. Always. Once I get it on here, I just do not want to take it off. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put my notes in here. Taking these things out because they're old from August and I can just throw them away. So in here for my notes, I have the task sheets. So usually when I refresh a planner as well, I just take everything out, make it all brand new. Also after the task sheets, I have some grid sheets. And like I said, if you're using uh, another size planner, you wanna start with your dividers first. So I usually have an inbox and then I have calendar that has like monthly, weekly, dailies, things like that. But I don't feel like I need to have um, that in here. So what I'm going to do, I have some storage that has CP Petite on it. I have two of these and I'm going to go through them and pull some things out because for this planner, it's basically notes and it is also my uh, inserts. But I want to show you also how I do some dashboard and some layering, but I'm adding a couple of more things to it. So these are some things I have for my CP Petite. I have a wellness log right here about waking up. Eesh, God, I need to work on wellness. I really do. So I'm not gonna add all these in here, but I'm gonna come in the back and I will divide it up between something. I'm gonna leave that with notes, but I'm gonna have a wellness log and I'm only gonna put a couple of these sheets in here. Okay. So this will be a wellness log. It's so funny when you haven't <laughs> when you haven't been in here in a long time to see exactly what's in here. Okay. Yep, let's take it all out. All right, so this is my what is this? This is 2024. So I'm leaving that in here. Y'all see, I got ready for 2024. This is 2024. Don't need it. I do want some more task sheets. Because I do, I did take a lot of notes using this planner. But like I said, I, it used to be just for note taking. And then I decided that I wanted to use it as an on-the-go planner. So I got a couple of inserts for it. Okay. Then the next thing. Oh, y'all see this? I have a brand new icon for my CP Petite. Ooh pretty. I'm going to hold on to it. And y'all know what for? 2024. 
All right, and then I have this dashboard. This is so cute. This dashboard says, don't let imperfections get in the way of progress. Nice. So let's see. Another thing you want to do that I love doing is layering. So this is called vellum. And whenever you use vellum, it's really kind of opaque. You can see through it. And so you can put vellum, layer vellum over another dashboard. And it's just real pretty. This is a thicker vellum, but I still like the way that looks. So I'm just trying to think. I think with notes, I'm going to use this. Because it has all this book, these books and it looks kind of magazine ready. Oh, isn't that cute? That is cute. Okay, that's for notes. And then remember I had a wellness log, right? So I'm going to use this for the wellness log. Don't let imperfections get in the way of progress. Because it's talking about wellness. There we go, that, move everything over here. I told y'all that I was a little all over the place when I was doing this, so don't talk about me. Okay, so this is, so if I'm starting this in October, it's really five weeks in October, it's one, two, three, four, five. I don't wanna put too many in here because I don't want it to bulk up. So I'm gonna take this out, put this right back over here. Okay. Also, cloth and paper one month surprised us with these tabs. And there was there's one for every uh month. And so I'll put this back where it goes. But as you can see, I have my September right here. I was really thinking also if CMP decided that they were going to create some dividers, which I hope they do. I really hope they do. And I want something really simple that I can just use my label maker. But if they did, I think for this, I would like top dividers. Because I really want to keep it as clean as possible. All right, so let's see what's in here. Okay, next. I have a project log. Swatches. Oh, love that for well-being. I have so many things. Have y'all started ordering for 2024? Because I have. I have. I don't want to wait till the last minute. I want to get everything that I can get out of it. Okay, let's go back to my wellness section, right? And you see we have this don't let imperfections get in the way of progress. And then we have our wellness trackers. I'm just gonna put over here. This is more layering, people. Look how nice that is. You see what I'm saying? Isn't it nice? Nutrition, movement, and alignment. Okay, let's see what else we have. So this is priority matrix. What is important is seldom urgent, and what is urgent is seldom important. So what I'm gonna do for this, I'm going to use this like an inbox. So I'm gonna put this in the front. And I'm thinking I can look at my task for each week of what I need to do. So that's five weeks in this month. So I'm gonna use this just like an inbox and I'll place this right here. Okay, put that over to the side. Okay, this is my favorite dashboard. I love this. I love this dashboard. I've been wanting, I've been wanting, I cannot wait to use this. This is going to be in the front. That's so pretty. That's so pretty. I love that. So beautiful. All right, what else is in here? We have an activity tracker. And so, y'all, I know I should have some kind of order, but I'm just sharing you that this is how I put it together. Okay, so activity tracker priorities. Don't forget at the end or in the back, when you don't remember, doctor's appointment, priorities, action plan. Okay, I'm going to, let me see. 
I think I just need one of these for the month. I'm gonna use one. I would like to say for the week, but it's gonna be for the whole month. Now I'm gonna put this in it's my September monthly. I'm gonna add this to the front of it. Right here. Okay. I have y'all I forgot I had these oh my gosh I forgot I'm so excited I just got excited real excited but I also just realized that Lacey might be making an order I'm gonna check okay TV tracker what is this for? 2024. So I ordered my 2024 monthlies. I'm trying to see what this is. So my dated monthlies, I have those. Like, what was this? Oh, okay. This is what I ordered for 2024. So I have the weekly um, horizontal for 2024. And then I have the monthlies, the dated monthlies. I was sitting here saying that I ordered the same thing twice, but I didn't. It starts with January and ends in December. Okay. That's what happens when you have so many things. But I decided I was going to try to keep all my little stuff organized. Okay. Let me put 2024 things. Needs, they need to stay. <laughs> they need to stay in one little area. Okay, I just said I got excited about something and then didn't tell y'all what I was excited about. I'm excited about these two things. That one is these um, monthly dashboards. I did not even realize that I had ordered those. Ay, 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 ay. Okay, all I'm doing right now is trying to stay organized y'all every time i do a video or every time i plan i have stuff when i say everywhere i mean everywhere okay i just realized that i need to place an order for something oh quickly too okay y'all in the sub box they gave us inserts for august september no was it july august and september y'all how come i have nothing and I do mean nothing for the rest of the year. That cannot be true. I have to have this stuff someplace else. But it looks like it. It is. I know it is true. You know why? Because I was sitting here thinking, I just recently turned this into a planner. This hasn't been something I've been using. I just recently did it when I got the subscription box. By the way, October 5th is the last day for you to subscribe to the box. But I just recently did that. Oh my God, so now I need to place an order. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. So much for um, looking ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and put September here. This is that layering again. See how that looks? Beautiful. And then I'm gonna go ahead, let's see September. Wow. I'm going to go ahead and do October. I'm going to at least put two months in here. Wow. I cannot believe I didn't order those. And how much time do I have? Uh, clock and paper is usually fast, right? So if I place an order for it tonight, and I'm wondering if it's on sale because they had all their 2023 inserts on sale. I'm wondering if I go ahead and order it. Will it be here by? It has to be. I'm, on, I'm placing an order tonight. I cannot believe that. Okay. I have some more inserts that I love. Where's the other one I just had? I cannot believe that. I'm shocked. I am shook it. All right, so this is another dashboard. I will do a flip through after I go through this entire thing. This 
This is pretty too, right? That's nice. I'm using these dashboards. I'm dashboard queen, y'all. I love to the dashboard. This one says, don't settle. Don't settle. Do great work. Don't settle. And this one is, there's luxury in simplicity. So let me go through here. One more thing. This is meeting notes. I'm going to go ahead and put some of these in here. I always have this planner with me. So these two notes back here. I think I'll go ahead and put meeting notes right here. I love the way this looks. And I'll put this right here because I like a good dashboard with a dashboard. Just don't settle. Let's just say it on both sides. Let's see. Y'all, I'm still sitting here tripping. Like, I cannot believe that I did not. <laughs> that I did not have that. That I didn't have any more monthlies or, or weeklies for me to use. Weekly inserts. All right. This is pretty too, right? So many things. So many. You cannot use all the inserts that you want to use. I'm going to tell you that. That's for sure. Okay. Put these things up. Sad about it. All right. So I'm going to go through now. And I think I, I feel like I want something here too. I like the way that looks though. Maybe I should just leave it clean. Come over here. Usually behind my dashboards, I'll just place something else. So either this would look good right here or this would look good right here. I already know, I'm going with this one. Go touch of gold. Yep, that, okay. I want this here, I love this says, um, women who wear black lead colorful lives. I love that. There we go, put it right here. feels good <laughs> I'm still laughing at the fact that I have to place an order and I thought I was doing really good this week but you know what this was really good that I decided to sit down and do this because I would not have known okay all right so let's see that looks good like that, right? Okay. Now for the pockets, have this ambition card. Like the way that looks. And I love, I think I love this. This is called Fossil. And I love it with white. So I have this cloth and paper. It looks good right there. I think I need something black. I'm gonna pop a little black out of here. So let me see what I have. So many, so many things.
Okay. Let's see. I'm just going to try a couple of things, see what this looks like. So I kind of like that because it's it's a uh, vellum and you can see that but oh, cannot cannot get away that's ambition and then grit and grind i cannot get away from this i just cannot so let's put that right there move this over or should i have it over here pockets are like my thing from i'm gonna say for messing up <laughs> i'm just not good at pockets but you know what there's simplicity in pockets yeah keep it simple see i wanted something black i know i wish y'all were here with me i wish i was doing this live so y'all could just say yes lexi leave it there leave it there or leave it like this Y'all aren't. Okay. Leaving it here. Right here. And what if... Could leave it right there. I'm not going to... Note section... I don't want it there either. Maybe I just won't use this clip. Maybe. And now I'm saying maybe I will. I'm gonna put it right here and let me find another another journaling card. So guys, these are journaling cards. And they always speak to me. Like this one says, make it simple, but significant, right? So this is, this could go right here, but I think I saw something else I liked. So let me, let me check over here. So I think I like this one. We're changing seasons and things are changing. This is change is inevitable. Growth is optional. I do like that, but no, I don't like it right. <laughs> but I don't like it right there. I think I'm looking for something black. But I'm keeping this in here though. No pockets back there. I'll find some place for it because that spoke to me. Nope, I'm gonna leave this right here. Make it simple but significant. Okay, I'm done. You know what I need to do? Find me a really cute pen that stays in here. Look at this. I got pens over here. Okay, so I got these from the box. And I'm not trying to tell y'all to get the box, but I'm trying to tell you that the box is amazing. It really is. I have found pens all over my house. I'm all over the house using my stuff. Oh, I might, that's pretty because it's like the same color. And then this, this is, these are um, Uniball One pens. You can get these from Jet Pens or Cloth and Paper like that one too so many decisions y'all okay this one's pretty too but I don't think it fits yeah all right uh, let's see let's see let's see let's see let's just try it out so this is what this gray one looks like see that that's what the gray looks like and you open it up okay that's pretty y'all don't think this matters pins matter <laughs> they matter this one and then you open it up okay see which one I'm going with I'm going with the gray or 
bluish gray. It's gray. Oh my gosh, I just heard thunder. Okay, I think that looks pretty. All right, let me show you some ideas that you can do. Remember I talked about if you wanted to have something for a divider, there's some things you can use. So hold on, let me grab them. So if you don't have dividers or you're not sure what you wanna use dividers for, I like to use these Lux page flags. So this is one that says, don't forget and note it. And then there's pretty brown, kind of like marbling in between. You could use that. Or this one says, um, do we call it record? It's not record, <laughs> it's record, record um, things that you wanna write down. So you can use that. And then there's one, so funny. You look at the words. I teach school, so the kids do that all the time. It's like context, context. And then this one is to do. So you can go through and do that. So let's just say I want to go through and um, I already put one right here for the month that I was on. But if you want to do like your weekly Y'all see what the week is? See, I skipped a week in this, and it's okay. So I'm going to use this one right here. You can either place it like this. So that can be a divider for you. And you close it up, and you can just go straight to that section. It's coming over a little bit. Or you can place it like this. And that can be a divider for you. See that? I think I like, I like that right there. Okay, so let's just say, and I am going to finish planning this week. It's Tuesday, but I'm going to get it done. Have it done in another planner. But like I said, this is on the go. Um, So let's just say you can use that for your monthly. If you want to have another one for the monthly, you can write on this with your um, uni pen. I have one somewhere in here. But um, write on here or use a label maker i'm gonna pull this out just a little bit more this noted see how that's looking see that okay so then i have another section that is my notes so i want to put something for notes and maybe i want to use the noted on here but maybe this time I just want to put it like this. So you see, you can see it out there. And so they have, they have to-dos on here. So let me go back to the front. This is what I'm gonna consider my to-dos, this weekly priority. And I'm gonna use this black, place this. Just like this. So here you go, when you don't have dividers, you can just use page flags. That looks good anyway. Maybe I don't need dividers because I love the way that looks. Hopefully y'all can see that up close. See the way that looks? Okay, so I do believe, I think this is it. I think this is it. I think this is it. I always have a couple of um of these sticky notes too. So take a sticky note, just a couple of those, and place it right here. So in the event I need one. Also... Let me go back here to where this one says notes. Oh, I'm looking at it. Uh, trying to see if I want to put another sticky, another one somewhere. Sometimes, just depends. So many sticky notes. So let's just take a couple. So I don't want to bulk up the planner, like I said. And y'all, let me just tell you, I fell, I'm just going to be honest, so oh, I cannot cover that up. So it's going to have to come on this side. 
I felt so professional. I went out of town and um, as an assistant, and I this is what I used. And so people were talking to me, and I had to take down a few notes for them. And I was like, I am so professional. <laughs> it feels good to to carry something that's that's nice. But this is it, guys. This is what it feels like. This is what it looks like. I am so happy and I'm ready from, uh, for October. This is it. I really hope this video has helped someone that is considering um, using a smaller planner or on-the-go planner. Or if you are new to planning, I'm so excited that you're here. Well, that's it for this video. I am so grateful that you have stopped by and joined me for another one. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope there was something that you saw or something that I said that would help you in your planning life. If you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And if you watch the video and you enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to click on your notification bell for more videos to come. And don't forget, take charge of your life one plan at a time. And I'll see you on the next one.